Youth Redfield back with another stream. Hope everyone's having a lovely day. But yeah, we're playing Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. Hello, Social Productions. How are you doing? Yo, Nathan. How are you guys doing? Hello, Yuri. How, how are you doing today? Doing great. Oh, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I'm okay. Stop, Holmes. Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Oh, nice. Blindfolded. Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Mm. Ah, Lestrade. What mm -hmm. is it this time? <laughs> he can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good mm -hmm. one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? <laughs> oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only one <laughs> here? I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little yeah, thanks everyone for joining the stream, you know. Please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Carey, born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years, and where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The merry men struck again. What have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. I should have Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. Yo, Johnny Funko, how are you, buddy? Along to Peter Carey's house, Mrs. Hudson and I will take care of the mess you've made here. Yeah, I'm good. I'm I'm doing good. Oh, what a mess! What a terrible mess! Yo, Glenn, how are you, buddy? Hello, Michael DeSanta. How are you doing? Thanks for stopping by by the stream. Ah, oh, no problem. No problem. That's fine. I understand. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Glenn. Come on. 
It seems that the garden was well maintained. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Hmm. They always say the same thing, you know. Mr. Holmes? Elder God, hello. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing Speak today? To when will you remove my husband's body? <laughs> I just to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll oh, wait well, the I'm sorry. Time. Let them know that I'm sorry. My you know. Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. You know this, Mrs. Carey. Yeah, let them know that I apologise and I understand about uh, them not coming to my stream today. Ah, oh, thank you, Roxy. Thank you. Madam, are you okay? You How are you doing? You saw or heard anything unusual on the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. Thank you, Elder God. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing all right. Hey, Rezzy. How you doing? Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. That's good. That's good. Do you remember... Did you have work you today or were you off? In the morning, at around seven o'clock, I noticed the cabin door was open but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and... Oh, yeah. You were working today. Ah, oh, okay. Was your husband accustomed to receive... I was watching visitors? football. Did you see any football? I don't think so. I mean, or are you going to really watch any of it? We lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. The garden is very large and well-maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Well, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy, but he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he? when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, okay. Oh, I may watch that moment. then. What time is it on? You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon. It starts afterwards. two p.m., so that one p.m. for you. What happened, Mr. Holmes? How mm. extraordinary! Yeah, I may watch that. Thank you, madam. Who could? Hey, bro. You too, bro. I'm streaming the Sherlock Holmes. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? <laughs> yeah, I'll probably watch the Belgium-Morocco game, Resi. That sounds like a good game. And Japan G beat Germany. Oh, wow. Peter Carey's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to touch anything. Wow, the Japan beat 
Germany, wow. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello. Hey, I think I'm okay now. Ah, uh, thank you, Bailiff, Seems for joining, by the way. It, Mr. Holmes. Yeah. See. Yeah, how are you feeling? These scratches are fresh. It's fine. Yeah, I'm right. sorry. Someone tried to force over I'm sorry whatever happened, you know. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Now a mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not I was rolled up because Samantha Perez. Perhaps he did not have Yeah, I've heard of this. I've heard of this Samantha Perez. But I don't I don't know who she is. I don't know who Samantha Perez is, but I've heard of her. What a terrible way to die. I saw England jail yeah, on Tuesday. No, yest yesterday, wasn't it? It was yesterday. This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book. Box or a small chest, perhaps. Yesterday was my birthday. Ah, oh, happy birthday, Vizu. For yesterday. Happy birthday for yesterday. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Yeah, how was Our your birthday? Hunting whales. Peter Carey's boots may look to be a size 8. Old navigation instruments, nothing interesting. Yeah, like say this the bailiff Sina. person, she no, um, Samantha person, uh, Oh, GTA 3. I'm going to finish that tomorrow, Vizu. But yeah, I have no... That, um... Samantha Perez, I have heard of her. But, uh... I don't know really who she is. It seems that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. The initials PC have been crudely burned. A sailor's work. Here's a positive environment. Welcome to the stream, Cosmo. Hmm. This aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one mm. picture. I always forget. I always forgot how you do this. Hey, Laura. Hello, Laura. How were you, Laura? I'm just going to skip it. Yes. This is a coarse tobacco. I am here and not going anywhere. Hey, Jules. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Work sucks. Yeah, I know. 
I know it does. <laughs> but we got to do it to earn money, right? Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. Yeah, we got a... Uh, we got to work to earn money. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. I love to read books. What about you guys? Do you like to read books? Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a whaling harpoon. Yeah, to... J H N are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. Hmm. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime, but it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter Carey. Yeah, me too. These abbreviations mean something, but what? Yeah, what do you, do you think of my short jewels and guys? What did you think? Huh. Someone was here. All yesterday. right, Jules. Take care, to okay? To gain entry. Yeah. It's... Wait, you haven't you haven't visited well um All right, Jules, no problem. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. Oh, that's right, Cosmo, yes. I forgot to add hashtag shorts, yes. Yeah, I've been to Harry Potter World as well. It's really good. You should really go, guys, if uh if you haven't already, you know. Well, Mr. Rounds, what do you think? I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oof. You've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? <laughs> why return tonight? When they will be better prepared. Did you, well, uh, I've played this on the PS3 so ages ago. We shall remain on the outside near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. I'm gonna... Yeah, the book the books have more in them. That's uh... these boots don't match the footprints. These footprints. Yeah, GTA 3 tomorrow. Be a good detective. <laughs> Is this your husband's tobacco pouch? I'm not sure. It might be. But he hadn't smoked in a very long time. Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There was a small tin box, barely larger than a book. He kept his papers there. It should be somewhere in his cabin. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. <laughs> we need to find a good place for an ambush. Perhaps behind Carey's cabin, near the window. Me? No, I haven't.
This looks like the perfect hiding place. Nice, Harry, nice. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining. You're awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome back, Yuri. There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. Police! Hold it right there! Look at this guy. Mr. Holmes? And he just says, Mr. Holmes. All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you I'm innocent. Innocent? Then what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. But we were here... Yeah, don't for forget, you. guys. What if you haven't name? already, drop a like. John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... Do you deny that you came here yesterday? No, but... But I... Yes, it... It's just that I couldn't... Yeah, I'm doing... I'm, I'm doing this. okay, Laura. Off How about to you? Yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't! I'm not... It's a terrible mistake! Enough! You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with yeah, me Yeah, I'm to doing all right. But... Thank... Thank you, Harry. recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same. Hmm. I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow. Yeah, morning. tomorrow is going to be G uh, GTA 3. Uh, GTA 3. Um, you know. Okay. You read Stephen King's books? No, I haven't, Resi. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? <laughs> belongings the notebook that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor these abbreviate a pocket knife it was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin a handkerchief with the initials J H N and partner 1883 from R. Dawson to my friend Dawson I've seen this name before how to get this game uh, I had it on d uh, disc quite a, f quite a long time Vizu yeah I've had it on disc quite a few um Quite a few uh, times, you know. Does this notebook belong to you? 
Yes. But where did you find it? I did not know. I, I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. What do these abbreviations mm. mean? I did read the book. No, I beg you, I can't. If I, I have this you, game, I think. Yeah, worse. it's a good game, Laura. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. It is a good game. The sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carey try to defend himself or to attack you with it? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. <coughs> the police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. The ring is mine. No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but, but, but how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else. Most probably, your father. Anybody else been watching the football? With your father gone and taking with him the family's wealth, like, as a little and boy, I was watching like some of the France and uh, Denmark game. Cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working. I can tell from the scars. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. And what do you think so far? Well, I will see. What do you think, uh, Vizo? Let me go. Please let me go. I need to stage a reconstruction. I'm sure that Watson would be happy to oblige. Oh, it's midnight where you are, Vizu. It's... Yeah, it's, it's about... Like, s after six here, seven maybe. That should do it. Now I am ready for the experiment. I will be back, okay. No worries, Laura. No worries. Dundee. Oh, uh, sorry, Vizu. I lost it. Wait. Man. You lost a follower, Rezzy. Why? <laughs> Why? What, what happened? Okay, hang on. Hang on, Vizu. Hang on. <laughs> uh, Vizu, okay, let me go into my stream and add you as a moderator. There you go. Yeah, you're, you're a moderator on my channel now, Vizu. So if, if you do capital letters, um, you shouldn't be, uh, yeah.
because yeah, if you do if you do capital letters, um, you know the night bot or time you out. The best nose in the British Empire. It's okay. Um, a thing. Uh, which one do we need? That is not the. That is not. That is not. That is not. That is not. That is. That is. That. That. There we go. Here it is. Thank you, Glenn. To understand that young man's story. Yeah. Thank you, Glenn. As to what connects him with the murder, it is time to ask him. A spot of whaling, Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No, but we do need to clarify what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. A reenactment, then? Is something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible, but if that is the case, then it alters many things. I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend, what is the animal closest to man? Morphologically, I mean. Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before. On the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throats? No. Well, thank goodness for that. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. Wonderful. Wonderful. Watson, let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass yes. of a well-fed pig. And the harpoon? One Keith, the are your live videos monetized? Unfortunately not. No, they're not monetized, no. One second, Glenn. One second, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna trust you again as being a moderator, okay? Um... Glenn, 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 uh, add moderator. Okay, there you go, Glenn. I made you a moderator too, okay? Okay, here we are again. Brave. Brave, Toby. <laughs> What requirements are you missing for monetization? Um, the watch time. Yeah, so I've got the followers. I just need the watch time uh, now. Ah, uh, okay. No, I think I think it's emojis as well. Well, here we are in the preparation. <laughs> I can't say that I like the smell of it much. Uh, any time, Glenn. No worries. I myself in a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass with a heavy harpoon. A little mm -hmm. experiment? Stand aside, Watson. This might be dangerous. I am not well practiced in this exercise. Yet. Holmes, you should aim for the mark in order to perform the most reliable test. Oh, okay, my watch time is only... Yeah, my watch... Thank you, Dad. Yeah, my watch time is like over 2,000 watch hours. The harpoon has struck the body. Congratulations. Congratulations for hitting 150 followers. Holmes, you...
This is the best possible result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength and training or diabolical luck. If it was luck, then it was a chance in a thousand that night. Well, yes. Let us leave now. All right. But before we go, I, I suppose I'll have to pay for all these carcasses you've happily mangled. Hmm. Very well, but please hurry. Of course. Um. As I say, I have been on YouTube. I don't know how long I've been on YouTube. But yeah, basically, I've got the watch hours, um, the um, followers. But I just need the remaining watch time. I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan, the West Country bankers. Yes. Joshua Nelligan was my father. I am aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall, whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. My father was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small yacht just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued. He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believe that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. Any ex... maybe... Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were maybe next year Norway. yes there is definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance that there will there will be you know new games I'll be playing um the next year and everything, you know. Um, you got RE4 remake, you got Silent Hill 2, or whatever that's called. Um, you got um, Hogwarts Legacy, Wolf Great. Among Us 2. The best nose in the um, this is where I keep my post. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. My archive. I can Thank always you, consult with it if needed. Good gracious, you caught someone. At least now you have a suspect. Um. My archive. I can all. My archive. Ship's log. My this is where my my archive. I can always consult with it if needed. My analysis table. It is useful for my work. A map of London and the surrounding area. Do you know Sri Lanka, Sile in my country? I know, I know Sri Lanka, yes, Rizu.
Yeah, I do. I do know. Uh, I do know Sri Lanka. Yes. I'm in. I'm in uh, England. Uh, London. Uh, Visu. 1883. That's the one I need. This is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn. Log notes for June. Nothing unusual. Okay, Vizu. Have have a good uh, sleep, okay? Log notes for August. These pages have been torn away. Canadian Pacific Railway, CPR. A torn piece from a bond certificate. I have seen this abbreviation somewhere very recently. There are three ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883. Take care, Vizu. Aboard the Sea Unicorn. <laughs> The first two of these will require speaking with a dead man. The last would be to locate vital witnesses, the sailors involved in this whale hunt campaign. Ah. Find the crew of the Sea Unicorn. Hmm. <coughs> Should I talk to that woman again, see if she knows anything? Who could do such a thing? No. Nope. Guys, who wants next week? Obviously, next Saturday, I'll play... Um, Resi, next weekend I'll do... No, because actually... No, because next Saturday I'm going to be... Um, actually uh, away, uh, guys. I think, anyway. Yeah, I might, I might not be streaming next Saturday, guys, because I've got a birthday party to go to. Thank you, individual games. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall see. Yeah, how about next Sunday? I do from. Home Sweet Home. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard. I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialists. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen yard detectives. Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. How will you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang, he can, as his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Fascinating. Here is the list of sailors. Sailors? Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. I'd love to play uh, Kingdom of Hearts again. My arc. My archive. I can always con. 
my archive. I can order. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to see you. As always, what happened? We have a new suspect, Liam Hurtley. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Interesting. Pray tell. Well, the constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. Do you have him here? Nice, Glenn. Yes. Nice. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Let us hope so. Ah, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. Hmm. Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room, at your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, huh? Mm, breathtaking. <laughs> breathtaking. are the suspect's belongings. Liam Hurtley's old boots. They're a size nine and a half. The stains are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. A pen. Nothing unusual about it. Hmm. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Please escort Allow this. Allow me to introduce myself. My name hmm. is Sherlock Holmes. I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say. And you're not even part of the police. Precisely. And considering your situation, it might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect. In a murder case. I know. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. Could you at least tell me who you are and exactly what happened that you should be brought here? My name is Liam Hurtley. That I can tell you. But you're not getting any more than that. Well, we shall see. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. That's all for now. What am I doing? Okay, now I can go back to the um the garden and thingy the boots. Wait, uh These boots match the footprints exactly. Yes. Bum, 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 bum. Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone by that name. Thank you, madam. 
Who could do such a thing? My poor husband. Do, do, do. Couldn't you used to run in this game? Oh, there we go. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. Liar. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. Footprints? That's your proof? How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Um... Because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. I'm not. How did you... I observed your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. But the most obvious clue presented itself in the bird embroidered on your handkerchief. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, all right, you got me. Yes. I am a gardener, and I went there to get my tools. That's all for now. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a change. I hope you guys can't hear this noise in the background, First guys. Condition. All seven reagents should be used. Second condition. Orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition. Colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. So, blue. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. Anybody still watching or? A new suspect. Brave Toby, the best nose in the British Empire. A map of London and the surround.
Oh, thanks, Glenn. You can't hear the noise in the background, can you, Glenn? Please escort this suspect for interrogation. So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Hide? What are you talking about? I okay, thank you, Glenn. And hid them well. Should I continue? My letter? But the ink? That's impossible. A touch of chemistry, nothing special. Well, you're a smart one, but it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? I will check that, Mr. Hurtley. That's all for now. Hurtley's stories are false leads, but now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Lee. Give me one second, guys. Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Here is the key to open it. Thank you, madam. Let's see what could be hidden here. Let's see what is in this box. Hello, Anthony. Uh... Yeah, I'm doing okay. How about you? A bundle of letters in a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Her Good going to work. Oh, that is interesting. Have a good day at work, then. I hope you have a good day. Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? Mrs. Carey, we found your letters. My letters? I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I... I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him. Not after... what happened. Well, here they are. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Liam, how could he? I... after what he has done. 
You believe that he killed your husband? No, I do not know. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. Thank you, madam. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors. <laughs> Oh, we made her upset now. <coughs> Mr. Holmes, we found the sailors from that list you gave us. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This man is a harpooner. Triggers, hey! See the same initials that were found on the tobacco pouch. How were you? How, how are you? Wiggins. Could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairns. We found Patrick Cairns. Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch Pub, where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Excellent. Here is your reward. Two guineas. Thank you, sir. If I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him, I had better dress as a sailor. Yeah, how were you, Fergus? Now I can approach Cairns and see if he recognizes the pouch. Hello, DJ Sully. Thanks for... How, how are you today? Cairns. What do you want? We've heard all about the gambling on arm wrestling here. You seem like the likely sort, and I'm up for it. I start at ten shillings. Suits me. DN to Resi. Ripped his nuts. I'm doing pretty good, thank you for asking. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for stopping by. I wasn't focused. Let's go again. I'm just gonna skip these guys. I've already done it. 
I've already done the uh, challenges before, so. Yeah, Resi loves these nuts. <laughs> I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money, no problem with that. <clears throat> well, good for you, I reckon. You're stronger than you look. Here's your ten shillings. I'd like to buy you a drink. Good winner as well. That's good. Let's have a drink. You're a good type. Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? Not all that much. Oh, well. At least you're not as poor as me. Why do you say poor? You're not working. I'm a harpooner. I think the troll chest you know it is sleeping. <laughs> Resi, yeah. As a result, find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. A harpooner. Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Ah, of course. It's been a dozen years since I've sailed. I've seen everything. <laughs> Bold Wallace, damn Black Peter, Great Roger, <laughs> sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. <laughs> yeah. Black Peter, you say? We've heard rumors about that one. He was worse than them all. Yeah, it started on the PS3. Swigging those fists of his around. He's a tyrant. And not much of a captain. At least, not as good as Great Roger. I see. Yes. I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. But you ain't heard the worst. Tell me. And let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that year. Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn. And I was a spare... Oh, was this in the Tangled we the Glen? On our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft that had been blown north. Mm. There was only one man on her. And he wasn't a sailor. The crew must have thought that she'd foundered. And they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. We took the man on board. And who was he? I don't know. During the crossing, he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage was just a tin box. That's strange enough. Aye. Even stranger was that on the second night, he disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to him. And of course, nobody could ask Black Peter about it. You know what happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night. Two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Black Peter's a murderer. Aye. Oh well, yeah, especially playing on the hardest difficulty. Of course. Back in a second. Are you after the Kazi? I'll be here with my drink. Here it is. Have you got any tobacco? We've run out of mine. Nah, I lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? Well, oh. Oh, it is. Well, I have to go now. I know a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. Captain Ahab's his name. He commanded the Pequod. 
he might need good harpooners. I'll tell him about you. Maybe. If you like, I. I'm done here. It's time to... I still, um... What, what can I use for that? Wait, 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 wait. These are the suspects. I wonder if these are connected. The ship's logs, yes. CPR. Now we have the proof that Nelligan's papers were indeed here. It seems that they have vanished, however. There we go. But that's not the right, uh... Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, what exactly were you hoping to find inside Peter Carey's cabin? I, I... I was trying to find some information about my father. Um... I assume you had another purpose, to retrieve the bond certificates. Am I correct? Yes. I discovered some time ago that a few of the missing securities had reappeared on the London market. You can imagine my amazement. I, I spent months trying to find them, and at last I discovered that the original seller had been Captain Peter Carey. These papers, they belong to my family, but I could not find them there. That's all for now. Well, I will see you soon, young man. I'm not saying... Do 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 If you wouldn't mind, Mr. Holmes, could you explain it to me? As I informed you on our way here, Patrick Cairns is the murderer of Black Peter. Why bring me here? Wouldn't it be better if we were out looking for him? That would be futile, as he will be with us in approximately 12 seconds. Oh, oh well, if this is your idea of humor... No, I just heard the front door. Prepare yourself. Good day, gentlemen. A young lad gave me a note from Captain Ahab. Am I at the right address? Is he here? Indeed, it is the correct address. But in place of your captain, 
May I present to you Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard? That means... It means, my friend, that you are arrested for the murder of Black Peter. What? What? A, a trap? Do you think you can take me? Here now. We'll have none of that. And I say that we will. Lestrade, are you all right? Are you able to stand? Oh, oh my jaw! Gore! He took me by surprise, Mr. Holmes. Otherwise, he would have seen what I'm capable of. Oh. Yes, he was lucky. Ah. But you got him. It was remarkably easy. He lost his balance after he struck you. And you practiced boxing, I know. You must have hit him hard. Our fellow is knocked out. Hmm. We should call for a police cab and then take you to the hospital. Yes, well, no need for a hospital. I would prefer to keep this between us. <clears throat> you know. Of course, Inspector. The case is closed. Cons is guilty, yep. Yeah. Clues found 16 as 16. Cons is guilty, correct. On to the next case. This trip to the countryside will be good for you, Holmes. Hmm. As your friend and your doctor, I really do recommend that you give yourself a complete change of scene. Fresh air, brisk walks, bird watching, chopping. <laughs> I wonder where Witty I mean, Witty is today. Certainly, it sounds delightful. But you haven't yet told me who your friend is. The one we're going to visit. He is a bee lover. A bee lover? Do you mean that he keeps bees? That must be Mrs. Hudson, bringing the warm cloth that I requested. There is someone to see you, Mr. Holmes. I have no time. Send whoever it is away. Yes, Holmes, I really think we ought to leave now. Mycroft. <laughs> Sherlock. Oh, uh, Mr. Holmes? Perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Dr. Watson. Uh, we met at the Diogenes Club a few years ago. I documented our encounter in a short story I gave the title The Greek Interpreter. He does remember you, Watson. My brother remembers everything, and that is why he is so valuable to the government. We are about to depart for the train station. I know. You know? Sherlock, I need your help. There are people who presently threaten both our country and the crown. <coughs> you must help us with those methods of yours. Need? Help? Those are not words I would readily associate with you, Mycroft. I wrote you a letter, but you did not reply. And this is not about politics. It's about people. Oh, dear. People similar to those whom you pretend to defend in your petty detective affairs. Everything is about politics with you, Mycroft. I'm not interested. Have some of your agents, your spies, or worse, <laughs> undertake this job of yours. You are defending your people, and they have little to do with the people I choose to help, I can yes. assure you. That is the point. You think exactly as they do. Who are they? The Merry Men. He is talking about the Merry Men. A band of idealistic terrorists. Sherlock, do Joe Harry. please think about it. They are planning something Love you, bro. Your country needs you. You need me, Mycroft, and you are not. Yeah, the doing okay. Although I'm on the second case. Spans very much further. Mrs. Hudson, tea will not be necessary. Doctor Watson, the train conductor, Mr. Parker, is aware that you will be seven minutes late. You are in the fourth car. The train will be waiting for you. Sherlock, enjoy your time in Staffordshire. And do yeah. at least write to me on your return. I would want to play L.A. Noir again.
Holmes, please call a cab while I pack my suitcase. We should be late for the train. Look after Mrs. Hudson for us, Toby. Look after Mrs. Hudson for us, Toby. Look after Mrs. Hudson for us, Toby. Watson, I'll hold mm -hmm. the cab for us. We leave in five minutes for the station. Gloomy night. It was warmer inside the waiting hall. Since the station master told us that the train is about to arrive, we should not have to wait very much longer. Yes, at last. Attention! The train is arriving at the station. Please stand well away from the platform edge. I'll take your bags and your blasted archive suitcase. But, Holmes. The headlight. It's faded away. Something is wrong. I can't hear any sound from the incoming train. Excuse me, sir. Can you explain what has happened? I, I don't know. It, it's as if the train vanished into thin air. Holmes, say something. Quick, fetch a lantern and let us take a look. It's too dark. Only fog and rails, nothing else. Lydia, There's Lydia no Gaming, hello, w welcome, we will come back welcome to the stream. How how are you doing today? Thank thanks for stopping by. It's been it's been um a while, but thank you for coming in. Well, here we are again at Evesham Station. We have a full day ahead. Let us begin our investigation. What should we do next, Holmes? I'm doing good. I'm glad to hear that. First of all, let us examine the area where the train disappeared. There was a building here not so long ago. Yeah, thanks for stopping in, Lydia. Thank you. destroy the shed in such a manner? It was disassembled in great haste. It is most odd. Um, well, I was working, uh, Lydia. I was working, so, yeah. Traces. Let's take a closer look. The distance between the tracks is about six feet, seven inches. The vehicle would have been heavy. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Cosmo. Oh, wait, what? This is the place where we saw the train vanish last night. Railway sleepers. A discarded item, possibly. Th there are no tracks or footprints on the ground. The rails have not been touched. There's nothing unusual here. 
Okay. There are no signs to indicate that the train ran off the track, nor are there any other traces. There is nothing whatsoever. There are no clues. But then, a negative result is also a result. Oh, I see what you're getting at. No clues and you're smiling. Yes, Watson, I do smile on occasion. This mystery appears very promising. This investigation won't be simple. We shall rec Holmes, how is it even possible for a train to disappear? Um, okay. A new telegram. I think we should meet this, Mr. Robinson. Here is the train set. A telegraph. A telegraph. <laughs> This suitcase contains my archives. We can consult with it. Yes. But I don't need it right now. An old locomotive bell. This part is... This place serves as a storage area for the station. This part is probably from a locomotive. Ah, there's the uh, postage man, the train station man. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'll be back, my... actually, guys. I'm just going for a cigarette. Hang on.
Okay, hello guys, I'm back. Colleague, Dr. Watson. Yes, I remember you. I'm Station Master Everett. You were here last night. So, you were Mr. Holmes, the great detective. Will you be investigating what happened? I shall indeed. It is extraordinary that an entire Thank you, Glenn. disappeared mm. like that. And to think of all the poor people inside it, the passengers, the driver. <sighs> Could you please give us any details about the train? Well, there was nothing so very special about it. At least not that I can recall. My memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> However, if you need it, uh, you can have the train composition report. It's inside my office. According to the train composition report, there was a special wagon. What does that entail? That's a highly secure car, ordered by a private party. Uh, it is generally to carry something of value. Uh, those wagons have iron walls, you know, without any windows. Uh, and they're fitted with a complex key lock. That is important information. Do you know what was inside this particular wagon? Certainly not. No, that's private. And it's not my responsibility to allot the wagons to whoever. It appears that there was a small warehouse near your station, and that it was disassembled. Why is that? It was burgled overnight about two weeks ago. The police have already started their investigation, but I doubt that they'll find anything. What was inside the warehouse? Nothing of value. A few hundred feet of standby rails and some spare railway parts. But it wouldn't be easy to steal all of that. Why would anyone want to? I would be glad to have a detailed map of the local railway district. But of course, please, take the one that's pinned inside the waiting hall. <laughs> See you later, my good man. See you later, my good man. This map will be useful. Yes, I am Laura, yes. But... The whole train just disappeared. This suitcase contains my archives. We can consult... Railway post bags. Was there anything exceptional about any of the passengers aboard the train? What do you mean? Like officials? Oh, I wouldn't know. Oh, oh, but now that you mention it, yes, there was something. There was a message from Bridlington Station saying that the train had been delayed because of an issue with the passengers. But what kind of problem that they didn't say? That is interesting. You mentioned a problem at Bridlington Station. I should like to visit this station. Could you mark it on the local map? Of course. It's a suburban railway station. You might take a cab there. See you later, my good man. <sighs>
the whole train just disappeared. Railway post. This is an absolute scandal. It's always the same with these rail companies. No respect for the customer. I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Please sir, Suntai. How about you? Concern? concern? What is my concern? I'll tell you what my concern is. Last night, I were on the train, as usual, with my colleague, heading home. Then along came this ridiculous ticket inspector, who started arguing that our tickets were invalid. He made us get off the train, and he was extremely rude about it. Were you aboard the train that vanished last night? Yes, I heard that it disappeared. Oh yes, I I'm fine, thank we you. That's good. Anyway. Our tickets were valid, and no doubt about it. That's good. Then, Welcome to, to the stream. The Thanks for joining. Everyone else out too, except for a bunch of rich. Well, because their type don't need a ticket. Can you recall anything more specific about this fortunate group? Well, yes, they were all foreigners. Spanish-looking toffs with snake eyes. You're welcome. Thanks. F Goodbye, sir. Thank you for stopping. Thank you for stopping by. Good day to you, sir. Good day. To whom am I speaking? My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is... Are you a representative of this damned railway company? Because I have a complaint. We are not from I'm the playing the company. I'm we playing on the uh, PS5. Case, Mr. Shamrock Flomes, please excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for idle chit chat at the moment. Yeah, I'm playing on the PS5. Uh... You must be Mr. Robinson, is that correct? Yes. I am leading the investigation of the disappearing train. It would help if you could answer my questions. Ah, well, all right. I have nothing to hide. I presume it was you who placed the order for the special wagon. Yes. Yes, Glenn, yes. prototype safely to London. My prototype is a revolutionary device. God, what are you it's watching, Harry? Producing electricity. I'm a businessman and an engineer. I had already found several potential customers for my invention. But I was very optimistic about the director's board who were traveling on the train last night. You mentioned a director's board. Which company do they own? The Chilean Barcaz. Harry, are you company. playing something I or watching something? Now they are lost, along with the train and I said, are you watching something or what playing do you know something? About the Barcazis company. It's a large South American company. Oh, okay. No, it's... Of I'm just asking. Prototype. And they seemed wealthy enough to do business with. Hmm. This revolutionary machine... I've watched yours, Avengers, yes. Valuable? For God's sake, sir. It is priceless. Oh. It could change the world we live in. And yet... I was selling it for almost nothing. I am a no, I haven't, no. <laughs> you see. I do not know if I will ever be able to get over this disaster. I cannot believe that it disappeared with that damn train. Mr. Robinson, could you please clarify? Were you travelling alongside your prototype? Yes, I was. But I had to step off the train. And all because of this stupid station master. I received a telegram declaring that an important person, a Mr. Bromsby, wished to see you in the waiting room. I, I merely informed you of this. Mr. Bromsby is a wealthy gentleman. 
His interest in my invention was truly unexpected. So yes, of course. Um, I agreed to see him. I fortunately wasn't there. I thought perhaps he might have been delayed. So I chose to wait a while. But despite my mm. requests, the train left the station without me. I let I got it. Absolutely unacceptable. The timetable I got it for a birthday or a Christmas one day, Laura. The regulations require the train to be on time. You are an idiot. You will pay for it. I will sue you. The ticket inspector forced all the passengers from the train, except for the directors of the Barcazas Chilean Company. Do you, do you have the game then? Yeah, I think okay. The insurance policy for Robinson's machine, a significant sum. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I am investigating the unfortunate disappearance of last Did you ever train. play this game, though? I see. Uh, I'm Station Master Bertram, but my supervisors not inform me about this. I do not know if... Uh, do not worry. I have only a few questions. Station Master Everett from Evesham told us that you reported a problem with some passengers last night. Indeed. This train is a regular line for those who work at Nottingham. But yesterday, everyone was asked to get off the train here at my station. I've no idea why, and it delayed the train. But the worst of it is that now I have to deal with two furious passengers who are complaining about the company's service. They stayed here the whole night. But people do not usually pay much attention to the regulations, you see. There are very strict and clear rules. Paragraph 234 of Article 2G... Yeah, it's been... It's, that in the event of a it's been quite a while must, since yes, I've uh, yes, played this. I understand. Lola. Apart from the passengers disembarking, did you notice anything else that was unusual last night? I did. And I mentioned it in my report to our higher management on the matter. What was it? Sorry, but I can't tell you. The station master's reports are confidential. Confidential, you say? How long have you been working here? I have worked here long enough to be uh, quite capable of managing a railway station. No, you haven't. Let me speak frankly, Mr. Bertram. Your age and your lack of confidence in your position are quite apparent. You cannot deny that you have only recently completed your studies. I was at the top of my class. Listen here, young man. I am aware that you wish to protect yourself behind all these regulations, but I represent the law. And you are obstructing the investigation of an important case. I would suggest that you cooperate with Mr. Holmes. Think of your career. Ah, that is... Well, I'll tell you everything. First of all, I scolded the ticket inspector, for it was he who asked the passengers to leave the train. It was not his right to do so. He was very rude. And then, later on, I received yes, a most um... peculiar telegram from my colleague at Chesterfield Station, the next stop along the line. Yes, it is. It is, uh, Sherlock. What did the telegram say? It is Sherlock that Holmes, was the yes. Thing. It was almost unreadable. It was full of errors and awfully vague. It was hard to understand if the train had correctly passed that station or not. 
You can read it for yourself. We ought to visit Chesterfield Station. We need to confirm if the station master saw the train or not. The whole train just disappeared. It's unbelievable. Yeah, Laura, just get better soon, okay? According to this document, you have insurance for your prototype. Yeah, oh, I hope you uh, God. get better Where soon anyway. It? Near the telegraph station. I must have lost it when I tried to send a message, which I was prevented from doing. I apologize for that, but regulations state that public access to the telegraph is strictly prohibited. Upon my word! You keep on digging that hole of yours. You have no idea who I am. I see that you kept your grip sack with you. Why don't you leave it in the luggage room? I've had other things to think about. I lost my prototype. And this idiot station master just stands uh. here doing nothing to help. Oh, but... Well, that won't do at all. Station Master, I believe that the regulations state that any passenger luggage should be taken to the luggage room. I'll do it right away, sir. Sorry, sir. Thank you, uh, Fergus. This Robinson is quite a character. We should learn more about him. It's a scandal. An absolute outrage. Thank you, Re thank you, Rezzy. Hey, Pegasus. Kelly, how are you? This grip sack belongs to Mr. Robinson. I think we should open it, Holmes. This is what they call force majeure. I'll keep watch. Of course. Well, I remember that, Harry. Mm. Well, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm I'm doing okay.
Keith, you prefer ASMR with gaming or just some triggers? I don't mind ASMR, Resi. There we go, I did it. Yeah, I don't mind ASMR. Look, Watson, a bundle of contracts. Very suspicious. We should study them carefully. An exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. What, what about you? Yet another exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Yeah, what about you? Uh, what do you prefer? Mr. Robinson is the seller. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Yet another ex... Mr. Robin... Well, it is very clear that this Mr. Robinson received prepayments from various people for his machine. Wait, guys. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ha 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 ha. Ah, uh, look at that. Go Nightbot, go Nightbot, go Nightbot. I watch FIFA World Cup Argentina. Yeah, they're playing now, ain't they? They're, they're playing uh, right now. This suitcase contains my archives. We can consult with it if needed. It is fortunate that we took it with us. I will not move from here until I receive my refund. It's a scandal. An absolute out. Don't touch anything, please. Yeah, I watched that match. I did watch that match. Uh... This bin is full of empty bottles. A fishing advertisement. A telegraph. I had thought that all station masters knew the Morse code, but apparently not. A telegraph. How could he fall asleep at work like this? Excuse me, sir. Wake up. Ah, his breath. He must have swallowed half a distillery. And that explains the how. By his sleeping off the alcohol, you mean? Wake up, please, sir. Huh? What? The 18 hour 72 train has arrived? Good day to you. We are investigating the disappearance of last night's train, and we should like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> Resi, yeah, but they got uh, timed out. They got timed out by Nightbot. Yeah, she usually does uh, stream on Twitch, but premieres on YouTube, yes. Were there any passengers who got off that particular train at your station last night? No, nobody, it seems to me. Although I did not leave my office, so... No doubt you were very busy. You don't say. You can't ever get any peace around here. Now you have to send a telegram each time a train arrives and departs. The station master Bertram from Bridlington showed me a strange telegram that he received from you last night. It concerned the train but it was barely comprehensible. What? He's a fastidious little twerp, that Bertram. I remember everything quite clearly. It was late, and I was tired, but I did my work. 
So what? There's no need to be so petty. Uh... You were not tired. You were inebriated. Tell me the truth now, or I shall not hesitate to document your state in my report. My friend means that you will end up by being sacked okay, from Rezzy. your position. Okay, Resi. No problem. All right. So I was drunk. I don't remember all of yesterday. No problem, Resi. Please don't go harsh on me. Holmes, this man has consumed a considerable amount of alcohol. He's not entirely helpless yet, but... It will not be long before he is. Obviously, his testimony cannot be trusted. A telegraph. Okay, bro. There is no sense in asking the station master to open it. We shall have to pick the lock. Recently dragged here. I have all three Hullock Shame games. Oh, nice cyber. These bottles are How are you doing, uh, cyber? Wage. They were likely taken from the parcels. Shameful. Yeah, how are you doing, cyber? Railway post bags. This suitcase contains my archives. We can consult with it. Oh, yeah, the uh, update. Well, what's happening uh, oh, tomorrow? Will I ever get any peace? Do you mean about the update or something else? car wheelbase. Interesting. It appears that elements of the same construction were scattered everywhere. Watson, please tell me, do you believe in magic? Of course not, Holmes. Oh, and happy birthday, Cyber. A, train cannot a nice, oh, wait, what wrestling show? That that is obvious. Like, why, why is it called? Peculiar questions? A little patience, Watson. You will understand my point quite soon. So, are you quite certain that you saw the train at Evesham Station? Yes, of course. We saw it coming. The headlights and heard the whistle. But that is it. We didn't see the train itself. 
Uh, but... Oh, Holmes, I'm a little confused. Insane champion wrestling. Oh, nice. Where's that? Yeah, where where is that? Um, may I, I ask? Use the appropriate object here. In Glasgow. Oh, nice. I love uh, I, I love watch wrestling. I should use the I should use I should use I should I should So now here we have the fake train that we saw approaching Evesham Station last night. Doesn't look like <coughs> a to me. Be patient, Watson. I haven't finished yet. Try using your imagination. Our train requires only a headlight and a steam whistle. Have you ever been to a um, WWE show? Um, cyber. I need something long for the headlight to be attached. The long pole is now attached. It will allow us to connect the headlight. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The headlight is attached. The steam whistle is now connected. Holmes, what can we do to make the steam whistle work? It is elementary, my dear Watson. We shall need a fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher. Now, let us see what we have here. The st Watson, I do believe that we have created Yo, an buzzer. of the train that How's vanished it going? in front of us last night. The criminal mind can be most inventive. I am somewhat in awe. So such a thing. Yeah, I've been been if twice. To once to war, one to SmackDown. But that was like a couple of years ago. With the intention of stealing the real one. Ah, Watson, you should not jump to conclusions. In fact, this does not tell us. Yeah, I'm good. All, I'm good, Buzzer. The train did not evaporate into thin air. Although you half suspected it. Ah, at any rate, mm. we now need to find where the real train might be hidden. I suggest we use my archives to find a more detailed map of our surroundings. Well, I hope that justifies our having to load your massive archive suitcase onto the cab. It made us extremely unpopular with our driver. Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. 
Here it is. There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham, and there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham station. Okay, I'll pop in afterwards, okay, Cyber? I'll pop in and say hello. The switch is rusted, but it still works. Mines. This is interesting. possible for someone to redirect the train towards the mines. Here are the mines homes. They appear to be abandoned. Nothing in The distance between the tracks is about four feet eight inches. A lightly loaded There is a wooden beam lying on a small vehicle. This mine has completely collapsed, Holmes. It is curious, but to be truthful, I am not entirely surprised. It's to... Someone removed these screws, most probably to take down the rails. A few feet of the rails... This is an unusual kind of paper, stiff and dry. It was used for a specific purpose. Let us look inside. Sawdust. I am almost certain it is a... Watson, could you assist, please? Do you have your pistol? Good. Fire at this package. Dynamite. This box must be the safe. Let's open it. Let's open it. Yeah, I'm still here.
The Mexican company Caracal and the Chilean Barcazas both want to buy the mines. I need more information. Perhaps Mycroft could help. Okay, so Chesterfield and Evesham. This suitcase contains my archives. We can consult with it if needed. It is fortunate that we took it with us. The entire train has disappeared. It's a disaster. Where is that? Uh... Oh my god. Should be a, there should be a little passage here somewhere. Because it says, examine the sod railway branch that leads to the quarry at the station located between Chesterfield and Esham. This is new. A funny character. He looked and hmm. this
a greenish-brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. Ricardo. You already know the name of this man? Holmes, you amaze me. No, Watson, I refer to the cigar. It, it is, is Ricardo Turrent. A Mexican cigar hmm. of an excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Apparently, there was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. A greenish brown. These ash. That means. Well. This ashtray. Newspaper art. Betting slips. Bet. The sums. It can be. I asked Mycroft to find out some in. Here is his. Holmes, look. There's a flooded area over here. Hmm. Ah, oh, thank you, Billy. I appreciate that. Have a good day at work. Thank you for stopping by. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well, good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night. Good thing, the last one.
It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so. But it is strange, because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham. But I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town mm -mm. might have helped ease your addiction. But it was not to be. I beg your pardon. Thank you, Did Glenn. You what? We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. An expensive obsession, surely, for a station. As I say, once I finish this case, business. I'll end the stream. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. There was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about that? Goodbye, sir. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. Watson, it seems that both South American companies were involved in the purchase of the mine. The man at Doncaster who fled our approach, he smokes Mexican cigars. Perhaps... Yes, Watson. We should certainly speak with him. Please, sir, we would ask you not to leave. We have some questions. Are you the police? No, we are employed by the railway company. We are collecting witness statements about the train that disappeared last night. Lo siento, I'm in a hurry. Really? It seemed that you were waiting here for someone. Could you tell us if you were at the station last night? No, I just arrived from South America. A formidable journey, no doubt. Which country are you from? De Chile. De Chile. Chile? But you are Mexican. No, you are wrong. Why would you think I'm Mexican? Because of your cigars. Si, cigarrillos. So what? Those cigars are the Ricardo brand, from Mexico. It is quite impossible to find them anywhere but there. Pero not your business. I don't suppose that you are on vacation. What business brought you here? I was to meet my fellow compañeros. Where did you arrive yesterday? They were on that dumb train. I will stay here and hope that the authorities find them. Or their bodies. It's now my responsibility to repatriate them. Who authorized you to do that? The company I work for. Could you tell me the name of the company? It's not your concern. And what is your name? Enough questions! When I start this, not a very friendly man. And
here we are at the beach that is located near the... These traces were made by a carriage. Look. Nothing in... The distance between the tra... The vehicle would have... The vehicle... The vehicle... The vehicle would... The vehicle would have... The vehicle... The vehicle... The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite... Okay, deep. Glenn. How did it go? These Was it good? Relatively... The traces... An advertisement for Lake Cruises. Welcome back, Resi. Observing the coastline and the moored boats, we are able to see that the lake's water level dropped. The lake has flooded the quarry. The dam was probably breached. This place was a... The name Las Zarpas. Yeah, I got raid at the end. Oh, nice. Nice, Glenn, nice. My ser my, my search. My search, my, my search, my, my search should be focused upon the name Las Zapos. Las Zapos. Here it is. So What am I missing then?
Doncaster Railway Station. Okay, Glenn. You'll find nothing interesting here, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's that's up to you. This railway branch should lead to the quarry. Let us take a look. The switch is rusted, but it still works. The rail is rusted and looks old, but the railway is still usable. The railway ends here. That is strange. All these trains and railway stations, Chileans, Mexicans, and Robinson with his prototype at Holmes, I'm utterly lost. You'll find nothing interesting here, I'm afraid.
This post bag belongs to the... The station master appears to have found himself. Hey, dragon. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How about you? You'll find nothing interesting here. I'm good. That's good. Okay. I'll pop by, uh, by after my stream, okay? Actually installed the prototype, no. Thank you, um, thank you, James. Mexicans drown Chileans. Then the case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend yeah, to do? Thank you. Well, I shall require assistance for the arrests. There were accomplices. Ah, but I know that look. You have your own ideas. What are they, Holmes? On the one hand, we have the local constabulary and advice from our friend Lestrade. The problem we have there is that the authorities seem to be incapable of acting quietly. They require <coughs> force. It could result in an international scandal. Our other option is Brother Mycroft and his tedious political games. He will locate the guilty parties without any trouble, but it will be a long and drawn-out process. But I think I'd prefer... Let us go home. No, I did not. Well, Watson, we... But how do you... Huh. Of course you... Well, the case is solved, and we shall be heading home. Right away, but... In a manner of speaking, can you believe that the rescue service, the police have ordered his... It, it pulled through? Yes, by the gent... No, 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 just skip, skip this.
gentlemen, you are under arrest. Caramba! You traitor! You double cross me! No. Really? I shot him. The account is made. Oh, nice one, Glenn. Yeah, I was trying to shoot the thing out of his hand. There we go. Yes. Good shot, Watson. I always knew I you got were a that. talented marksman. I didn't want another life lost in this case, Holmes. I got that. I got oh that trophy. God. I thought I was a dead man. Hmm. You shouldn't be so glad about it. You'll be up before the judge. Your testimony will be of great importance to the investigation. I would remind you. Yeah, you can. You can add me, Glenn. You can add me on it if you By want way, to. Watson, it's Chegg so Cheggers too. Shooting lessons later on. Yes, but not in our sitting room, and not with you wearing yeah. a blindfold. Just put in Cheggers too. Yes, Mexican charms chilling you. Right, I'll probably end the stream uh, now, guys. Um, I find you from my main account. Oh, no worries. But yeah, I'm out, guys. Have a good, um, have a good evening, and I will see you all in the next one. Okay. Peace out, everyone.